both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Red Wings are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Angles it over to Ovechkin. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Here's a short pass to Sider. Sends a pass over. The Red Wings cross the line and gain the zone. And now he moves it quickly to Kuznetsov. And he slides it quickly to Barabari. Now a quick pass to Jensen. Puck knocked loose after that hit. And he takes the feed. The Red Wings looking against the hot throw. Playing big in the moment there. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it. Makes the save. Ovechkin's teammates love setting him up for a one-timer, and his best chances come from that 1T zone ability. Sider's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Slides the puck over. Detroit's across the blue line. Shot! Gets a piece of it with the glove. And it's a quick pass to Carrick. finish but i'm telling you he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass i mean it was placed perfectly on his stick he didn't have much time to react but he could collect it and he found a way to put it home detroit's on the board the crowd's loving it i even think the coach is smiling on the bench too that's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often james <laughs> but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint, but from an emotional side, too. Washington's gained the line and into the zone. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? And he's tripped up on the play. Well, who needs the man advantage or the extra attacker as they quickly strike? Well, they had possession. They recognized the lane. And to be truthful, the defensive structure, well, they just collapsed and played soft. You've got to be able to attack, and then result, a goal. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Cops quick stick, lands on the puck here at center. Puts it on net, that goes wide. Taken along the wall by Cock. Puck picked up by Carrick. Moves it to Savina. Just gets enough to keep it out. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And it goes right off his bucket to stay out. Well, fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Sandine. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Moves the puck. And that carries off a stick. And he takes the pass. Denies him! Poked away in the neutral zone by Van Riemsdyk. Tries to get it over to Kuznetsov. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And they score! Well, with the delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring, so that's going to nullify their power play, but it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Capitals are making the most of their opportunities here in this opening frame with the early lead. Yeah, it's been back and forth play here, and they've competed. James has been a good game, but now they get the go-ahead goal so they can play with more confidence. Kuznetsov's won the draw at center. Hand hang on to the biscuit after that. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. More of the 
than half the period has expired. The Capitals are looking to build on this one goal lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gaining speed through center and here they come on the attack. The Capitals move it ahead. Fires it into the offensive zone. Great heads up. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And, hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. The Capitals are across the line and into the offensive end. And he had an answer with that save. Backstrom's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Too many bodies in the way. Wide of the net. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And you get to that prime time scoring area, you don't get that too often, and he just sails it and misses the net. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You've taken your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Washington's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And they send it down the ice. Throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Polano's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Kuznetsov's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Stops him cold. Denies him again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Detroit's halfway through the season, James, and they're looking at a losing record, and it isn't pretty. You know, it's not where they want it to be at the beginning of the season, but they want it to end differently. If they're going to do that, they may need to make some acquisitions, some call-ups, but nonetheless, they're going to have to figure out a way to get it done together. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Center and feed. Oh, what a chance. And he fanned on the puck. Solid hit on the play. The Capitals gain control of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Wilson. Slides it across. Oh, great puck movement James working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier and they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage and they capitalize and executed with it here in the late goings of the period Washington's got a two goal lead they'd love to build on it puck is dropped and play resumes they fight for it along the boards Picked up along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. And now he moves it quickly to Ovechkin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Turn that chance aside. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Washington's got it in the offensive zone. Shot denied by the goaltender. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Hammers one! What a glove save by Husso! Wilson's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Washington's put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead late in the first. Fairgrins gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. minute approaching here in this opening frame. There's the whistle. We got an offside. 
Tenors glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. And they win that neutral zone draw. Musa quickly over to Mantha. And he takes the feed. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And he slides it quickly to Rasmussen. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. During the game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Washington's had an impressive start to this game. Now they're heading into the second period. It's a bit of an ice tilt in the first, so they want to continue that in opening up lanes. The biggest thing about that is when you open up lanes, you've got to attack and drive. You've got to know exactly when to shoot the puck, and they've been doing it so far in this game. but it's about getting the screen in front. Whether it's a flash screen, whether it's a double stack, doesn't matter. They just got to get there and take away the eyes of the goaltender. Way too much congestion blocks that. Steps across the blue line. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And he takes the dish. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Detroit's won the draw and they'll go to work. Levels them with the hit. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick shot! his game tonight really looking uncomfortable between the pipes and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team but on the other side of the puck I mean the forwards have to contribute offensively and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game slides the puck across to Sedina he grabs the puck here at the point pokes it away in his own end and gets a piece of it with the trapper Man, has he ever been dangerous tonight? He's got two goals, and he's looking for his third. Taken by Kubalik. He got all of that hit. The Capitals gain possession. Picked up along the boards by Kubalik. The Capitals gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Misses over the net. Great feed from the left side. Cops going to play it against the half wall. And that's picked off in the defensive end. The Capitals are dominating play, and in my opinion, James, this all starts to work away from the puck. When you close quickly, you retrieve it first. They've done an excellent job of that, and it's gone the other way, and they've cashed in. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Washington's had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Capitals win it. Quick pass to Mantha. Takes a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Washington.
Washington's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Here's a blast! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Frogs came the line and on the attack. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. More than half the period left to play. The Capitals lead it 4-1. Detroit's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and it gets in front of that to make a great save. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Capitals take possession off the faceoff. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Sider stick handling in his own zone. And he's taken down the officials' arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Uh, coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. The Red Wings will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Runs to the point. Makes the save with the glove. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age from working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. The Capitals come up with the defensive zone draw. Into the offensive end now. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Detroit's moving it along the wing. Quick feed to Savita. The Red Wings finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Well, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. Puck grabbed by Van Riemsdyk. Washington's on the attack. Puck scooped up by Wilson. And he was ready for that one. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Still has possession. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. More than half the frame has been played here. Detroit still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Cops gain possession inside the neutral zone. Off to left wing and into center. Fires it on the net. Gets in front of him. And he shuts the door again. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's a short pass to Wilson. Oh, what a save. Save in front. Moves it to Sandine. From the top of the offensive zone here. Cops taking it from his own end. Great use of the stick at center by Sandine. He got all of that one. Gains the zone from the right side. For point beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage odd man rush perfectly executed speed puck movement and of course finish 
Detroit's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Moves it over to Bergeron. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Gives it right back. Moves it quickly over to Roman. Feeds the puck across to Wilson. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's kicked free. And that'll free up the puck. From the left side, takes the pass. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Slides it across to Kuznetsov. From the right side, they gain the zone. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Detroit's in on the offensive attack now. Quick pass to Perron. Stop to get a piece of it with the glove. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Here's the chance. Oh, a clutch save. My goodness, this has been a pressure filled shift here. And there's a little physicality. And they skated out of the danger zone. And he maintains possession of the puck here. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're we'll back with more in a moment. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team is definitely... Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Detroit's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's term, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Handles the pass. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he makes the save. time left in this period this one has been a good back and forth contest we're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game and they win the offensive zone face off now let's see if they can capitalize and that's broken up and that's knocked away by Ovechkin both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall the Red Wings will play it in their own end broken up with the stick in the defensive zone the Capitals played along the wing. Receives the pass. Big time stop. Huso's in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. Wolman's got the puck. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Washington's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight. Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, it's our game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Fires it. Wicked glove save to get a piece of that one. And now it's grabbed by Jensen. And he had the answer on that play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck picked up by Wallman. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it to the middle. And the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Oh, excellent.
excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Good hit to pump him off the puck. They gain the zone from the left side. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Across the line from center. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the feed. Center into the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. On the back end. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Whoa. That's an intangible. Scores. The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly. You sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. This is what you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. Washington's got the go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, and they'll certainly want to win this face-off, James, because they've dominated in terms of possession. When they get it, they don't give it up easily. That's how they scored that last goal. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Poked away by Jensen. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Kubalik's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he had. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Oh, can't finish! Well, he can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. Quick feed to Paramari. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, another quick stop! Oh, he's in the soul tonight! My word! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. the full use of his stick on the poke check. Takes the cross-ice pass. Here's a short pass to Ovechkin. Now a quick pass to Wilson. Knocks it down in front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Washington's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. Detroit's got possession here in their own end. And he sends it across to Perron. Takes it across the blue line. And he loses control here. And he comes up with it. Taken by Van Riemsdyk. Moves it to Kuznetsov. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Bergren. And it's a quick pass to Perron. The Red Wings are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire them off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Ovechkin's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. Takes the pass. And there's the save. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick pass to Raymond. Poked away at center by Sandine. And the puck's knocked loose. Takes the feed. Wilson's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Moves behind the net. Quick feed to to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Detroit's leveled the playing field with that big-time goal here in the third. And usually at the late stages of a game like this, when it's tied, 
The victor is the one that goes for it and knows that they have to find a way to execute. If you're too worried about making a mistake, you're going to sit back and you're going to have the game taken to you. Centering pass! Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Right on the doorstep. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Capitals take it across the blue line. Big save. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Back to the point it goes. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Milano. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Bear Britain. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Here's a shot. Denies him on the play. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Shot! And that brings an end to the third period. We are still tied, and that means overtime is looming in moments. Have it in the offensive end. Works it across to Cop. Detroit's a chance to end it. Stopped and will play on. Oh, he's so frustrated at that. He wanted to be the hero and convert in overtime, James. Instead, you see the frustration on him. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Detroit's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Here it is for the win! Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. And he stopped that one. Puck is frozen and will get a face-off. A critical draw here. Beargrins won the draw here in their own zone. They've got a two-on-one. What a play. That's how you do it on defense. Here they come on the attack. Takes a shot. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Still anyone's game as we approach the final minute of overtime. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face off. Kuznetsov's won the face off here in the offensive zone. Coming to flipping the game. Can't get that one to go. That's extremely frustrating. Turn a missed opportunity. Bergren's looking to get back on his feet there. Man, did he take a tough hit. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Lakers won the draw and they're on the attack. that one. Washington's got a hold of it against the wall. Ovechkin's not going to be able to get away from the Blues in the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. And they win the draw on their own end. From the open ice, they gain the line. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a shot. Detroit's regained possession of the puck. Three on, no break. Here we go. In on the attack.
last night so you can at least find that sort of positive going forward uh to the phone lines we go brendo is in burlington uh do you find that positive by taking a point last night or how do you see things yeah sure i mean i'll take the point and you know quite frankly I... all right at this time let's get you caught up on Well, some fun, some drama, a little bit of it.